Hello everyone, and this is your girl Memphis Jones coming to you from the National Air and Space Museum in Washington, D.C. on Independence Avenue. Um, as you know, in the D.C. region, we have two museums um, that fall under the umbrella of the Air and Space Museum. However, the museum downtown in Washington, D.C. is more space. And the museum in Virginia, out by Dulles Airport, is more air. Um, we're here um, to um, participate in a lecture series um, and tonight's speaker is one of my sheroes, um, Colonel Retired, um, Air Force Colonel Retired Merle Tengensall um, and she will be signing copies of her book following her lecture series um, talk on you know resilience, you know how to overcome adversity um, in different areas of your life, um, utilizing um, the skills that she had to put into place to progress um, where she got to. So I'm hoping that tonight's going to be amazing. I'm pretty sure it is. I've already been, um, just my mind has been blown just being in this space, um, just to see um, how technology has connected the world not only through air travel but also space and the amount of satellites that you know are in place to keep things in motion you know when you think about things such as the um, supply chain and how the interruptions happen there and things of that nature but we're all connected through things that we can't necessarily see and so that's what makes this so amazing um, as I'm walking through this museum because we are, there is literally no way to not affect other people. Even if you are a self-proclaimed loner, you still do something in your life that affects someone else. So why not affect change positively versus the alternative, which would be negatively, right? I'm gonna leave you with that because I, you know, I got to get myself in place here so I can hear something, something inspiring. Um, Cause every day, you know, is a new day um, to be inspired, um, to be challenged, um, and to, you know, find it within yourself, you know, to to do something that is going to change the course the trajectory of the human experience, right? I'll leave you with that. I'll be back.